this out. Now, first of all, you throwing too many big words at me, okay? Now, because I don't understand them, I'm going to take them as disrespect. Mm -hmm. Watch your mouth okay. and help me with the sale. Okay, see? See, now you found yourself a nigga. You was looking for a nigga? Nigga here now, okay. see? Today's forecast, dark and cloudy and chance of drive-by. You want to go? Yo, I suggest you move back. Then Nick fire. <laughs> 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 What is going on, my beautiful DC brothers and sisters? It's your boy, the Truth31. Hit like, subscribe for all that DC goodness on that face, neck, and chest. And apparently, there was an exchange between Superman and Darkseid at the end of Zack Snyder's Just League that was left out of the cutting room floor. Very interesting. So without further ado, let's discuss this bitch. Sally, you ever play roulette? On occasion. Well, let me give you a word of advice. Always bet on black. So this comes from all things Zack Snyder where I saw this on Twitter and here's what he had to say. Here's what Zack Snyder said before the cut was released. Why the dialogue was dropped. I don't know, but he was probably forced to cut some characters from the family because of budget restrictions. Which is a shame because you know Zack Snyder and Chris Terrio would write some dialogue between Superman and Darkseid that would make your fucking nipples perk up, bro. Oh, can you imagine that scene? Oh my god, bro. And I guarantee you that scene will be refilmed for the sequel to Zack Snyder's Just League and the, and the exchange between Superman and Darkseid will be amazing. Of course, this has fans gotten riled up on Twitter saying hashtag release Superman speech deleted scene. <laughs> <laughs> which is i don't think fans are taking this you know very seriously i think the fans are just having fun as usual but i'm sure all the anti Snyder haters like stop it stop it there's no deleted scene okay Ooh, let it go say versus is over fucking nerds but anyway zach Snyder went on to say this they don't fight him yet they have an exchange hey see him with his massive invasion force aka the whole family just on the other side of the boom tube but then the tube collapses because they've destroyed the mother boxes so he can't come through oh my god bro bro just give me Zack snyder's just League part two right now bro because i cannot wait for the massive showdown between dark side and superman can you imagine Zack snyder's visuals with Henry Cavill all fucking shredded up, non-rock horse steroids, and dark side battling one-on-one. -on -one. Oh my god, bro. And that scene, that little tease at the end where they just look down on one another through the boom tube. And you notice that the four uh, remaining members here are the same four remaining members in the Nightmare timeline, which I thought was very, very uh, subtle uh, foreshadowing from Zack Snyder. I love it. It's so cool. And of course, you know, Superman in that black suit just looks so damn cool, bro. Hopefully, when we get, this, when we get the Henry Cavill solo Superman film, we get that black suit that's in between Zack Snyder's Just League and Ju Zack Snyder's Just League Part 2. Because, you know, we all want that he fucking Henry Cavill solo film. Give it to me now. I love it, bro. I, again, it, it just goes back to all the hype surrounding Zack Snyder's Just League. All the hype from the fans who are excited, who are ecstatic, who have been given like this new lease on hope for the Snyderverse to be continuing. And I swear to God, bro, I swear to the Lord Jesus above that I think the Snyderverse is going to get restored. I'm not trying to give you any false hope. I'm not trying to, you know, honey dick you as the regular Neo would say. I, I'm. This is just coming from what I'm seeing on Twitter from the various people who've worked on the industry, who, who've worked with Zack Snyder, who are just putting more fuel to the fire. I think something is happening and I fucking love it, bro. Look at me, sure. Look at me, sure. I'm the captain now. Zack Snyder is the captain of this ship and he knows what the fuck he's doing. He knows that he's steering this shit into the realm of possibility, of hope, of fucking just resurrection of this fucking Snyderverse that we fans have been begging and asking for since Zack Snyder's Just League released and since fucking Granny Goodness and Cernoff put a fucking just muzzle on that shit like, nope, it's not happening. It's a fucking cul-de-sac. No, bitch, it is happening. I don't give a shit what you have to say. We the fans are gonna fucking fight for this shit no matter what. And it seems so far from what we've from what we've been seeing and hearing on twitter that we're winning it seems that we're fucking winning we love it they're getting all their air back do something do something do something 
So at the end of the day, I'm ready for this fucking Superman and Dark Side exchange for Zack Snyder's Justice League Part 2. We're ready, we're hyped, we're excited, we're motivated, and I, we, we just can't wait for it, man. It's going to be fucking amazing. Hashtag, we still the Snyderverse all fucking day. But as always, my beautiful DC brothers and sisters, that, that's going to be it. Make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe, share the video, hit the notification bell for more DC updates. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter, on Instagram, and let me know in the comments down below, what do you think? Do you think, are you ready for the whole fucking Superman Dark Side exchange? Do you think it was a deleted scene? Or do you think, no, they're going to refilm it? And that Chris Terrio dialogue is going to fucking melt our faces, melt our balls, and be like, oh, because you know Chris Terrio is going to write some fucking badass shit that's going to just fucking melt our brains, bro. I cannot wait for it. Oh, Zack Snyder's Justice League Part 2. Give it to me right now all over my face, neck, and chest. And as always, love you guys. Stay safe. Truth out.